this one, welcome back to another video. Uh, now, I'm playing FIFA 21 again. I've had so much fun playing it. I might be doing a bit more Minecraft in the next couple of days. Maybe some new games, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm still on my son's on the one, and I'm thinking, why don't I do a bit of a bigger one? Now, as Frank Lampard was sacked from the Chelsea role, I'm pretty sure. I, I think he was, but <laughs> I'm going to be the new manager for Chelsea. And I, I, I need to think, which of these would we actually be able to win? Because I'm just thinking, like, people usually go for the one that gives you the most money. But that's got Napoli and Dortmund in, but... This, I think this is the easiest to win, and it's only like 200k less. Yeah, I'm using Euros because um, I uh, because I've got loads of stuff written down here, and the stuff that I was taking the information off did it in Euros. So that's why. Yeah, I know good. German wonder kid. I'm thinking about adding him to my team. But first I want to actually sort out the team because this is this who thought of this? Oh Polisic is gonna be playing with wing. Um don't know who, but Mount is gonna be Thought of this. Zuma just sitting here in the reserve for Ziek as well. Is Ziek any better at playing right wing? No. This team will need a lot of changing around, I think. Like, I, I like this formation usually, but I'm not going to get the two uh, midfielders, 65 shooting, and then 69. They're both defensive midfielders. And I do not know how to do this, so I'll put Werner up there. Kovacic up. I'm gonna have two cans. I know it's not very even, I know, I know. I just need to lamb lamb chop. So. Oh, but that was a bit too off. Oh. There. So now I can play the. Mount and I know it does look very attacking and it is obviously but the AI is stupid and won't really notice that. It will only change when I'm actually playing the game. So I I am gonna look for I am actually gonna look for a more solid defence. I think I'm going to play Kante as a centre-back. <laughs> yeah, Kante is our best player by three rating. And uh, and he's not even in the first team. And I'm going to teach him out. Very stupid.
I had a bit of a better idea, but again, it didn't include, like, it would still be, like, defensive. It just, now, instead of there just being a huge gap in the middle, we have a CDM in the middle. Which I think is better. No, Jeru needs to go. Well, first, um, I'll actually sort over the players that just need to go. So, first off, I'll look at all. There's not even any point. Tiago Silva. Jeru needs to go, like it's saying. It's and Tava where to deserve to go? He definitely isn't good. For his, no, he is a good player. But that is 30 million. Yep. Okay. Because we have... That is a, that is way too high for wage budget. We have about uh, 120 to 110 million to spend. Which I'd say is pretty decent. No, I'm, I'm going to first just put Grealish in it. Just... It'll be worth getting Matinho. Because I know that I am trying to really get the team younger. But I think... Where we need upgrades is more full backs actually, so mm. I want first team quality full back. So that's what I'm gonna ask my scout to look for. First team quality full back. Yep, full back. Now they can't be over the age of 27. Hmm, tax. There. Okay. None have come back yet. I was expecting some to come. I like this formation, even though it's very attacking. Like, how many attackers is that? Five, but then we've got five defenders. And we've got three players, which went, but we've got no proper central midfielders. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send the uh, uh, the friendlies with this formation and see how we do. Okay, Emerson actually two for Emerson. I'm happy with it. Yeah, but I'll try and Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to negotiate with Sevilla just to get it because I have a feeling that Arsenal aren't going to pay as much as Sevilla. So 30 for him. Ah. Twenty nine. Okay, twenty nine million for Anderson. Now I will be saying pounds. I do just mean uh your voice, of course. Okay, future's exciting, even though they're going to be sold. But it's there, the future is exciting. I'm going to try and rebuild Chelsea, bring them to, I don't think they've ever actually had. <laughs> okay. Um, reject. Kovacic. So... Ah, n no, no way. Just looking at their values, like, 
Yeah, there's no way I'm selling Kovacic for that little. Zana? No, I just bought him. Like, I haven't even played a game with him yet. And you're asking if you can buy him. One one, I have some little feelings that all the games that I play are gonna have a lot of goals because they have a very attacking but very defensive at the same time. Yes, an offer from Giroud. One for Tammy Abraham, actually. If I could get like 45 million out of them, yeah. Yeah, 45 million, I'll be happy. Drew, I do have him on the transfer list, but I don't want the price to be a bit higher than that, so. Hmm. I'm delegated with Drew. There. Of Tammy Abraham. Now, I don't want to sell him for less than 44.4. Now, I have a feeling that they're not going to accept that. But, yeah. Okay. Is one of those dollars going to go through? Aston Aquetta. Another one for Giroud. Delegate. Yes. Yeah. Don't sell him for less than like 14 feet. Aston Aquetta. 45 for Aston Aquetta, and I'll be happy. Because I want a bit younger fullbacks. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. Forty five million euros. I'm happy with that. That's the that's that's big money. Ah oh. Yeah, that's annoying. I think we need to win our next game to get through. No matter what, I'm not selling them out. Oh, no. Fair enough. But why do Barcelona want our players so much? They've offered some man, and maybe they just need a midfield replacement, and we just have the type of midfielder that they want as a replacement. I guess that that would be fair, actually. <laughs> okay, so I'll be like six. Do not have enough money. A lot of money into the club. Now we have. I don't know how much. Quite a bit though. Definitely. 191 million. That's a lot. It says 204, but we don't even have that much there. So not sure about that game. This man right here, that would be a gigantic signing. I could get him for around. So it's like all of these. I'm just looking at these players. So. Why is it only giving me left back? So. Ask of those sales, our team looks very, very similar. Now we just have much less players. But. 
I want to keep the quality of the squad high, but the numbers low. I don't want it to be so low that, like, that some of the players, um, the I don't want, yeah, that some of the players when they get injured, like, we we just have no choice other than to recall a horrible player from loan. It was gonna happen. Oh, forty five million, though. That's a lot for that weird face. Then, what should we sell? Hey, we've actually got Ventura. Okay, I'm sure. Yeah, we sold Emerson. She's just probably not big enough to go. Let me just. You know, um. There, I just want young fullbacks. But Alonso, I might actually want to loan him out because there, are, like, if if I still have like some decent players, I always that us that are getting gold. I usually would prefer to loan them out than just straight up selling them. So, what players? That's why when I usually get like a player that's quite old, I was thinking about yeah, it's gone cheap already. So Alonso, I am happy with loan him out. Mendy. Oh, Kepa, I like to say, say Barkley laid out. Oh, I actually know a player that I might want. Uh, uh, then I was just thinking we already have way too many cams. Tammy Abraham, happy with him being laid out. Wait, actually, what I do want to see is what players are loaned out because there are some which I might actually want to recall. Okay, drink water. Like, in a, in a, in a proper emergency, you probably could uh, play Barkley, you probably could play if uh, all our cams got injured, but that's never going to happen. Again, look my cams got injured. If uh if both our strikers got injured again, we have way too many cams. Way too many cams. So I'm actually thinking I need to train some of these cams to a different position and then quite a few of these players can play cam as well. Like I'm I'm gonna loan out Billy Gilmore, but I think because he plays striker, I'm gonna look at his stats and see what he would be good in. He'd be actually a good winger. Yeah, he'll be a really good winger, I think. Ugh. Yeah. So uh, he's going to become a left winger, so can a left winger. He can still play all of those positions, just not as good as he used to. This dude here, what What would he be more fit for? Ooh. Could I teach him to play CDM? CDM, and... I feel like I'm going to have way too many wingers, because his highest stat is, I'm just going to keep him playing cam. So there are some youngsters which I'm happy with keeping on playing cam. No. Yeah, I think I'm playing him as a, yeah, I'm playing Habits as a right winger, so another player who's going to be changing his position. Because I like his 
pace. Then his passing, yeah, his crossing needs to get better if he wants to become a winger. But now Ziek, I'm happy with Ziek and Mount playing Cam. Because then we'll have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll have four Cams. And so that's what it's like. And then I need to teach some of these how to play CDM. Uh, can I teach Jorginho how to properly play CDM? I think I might be able to. Oh god, it, if it takes him that long to uh, train to be a centre forward, they literally, they literally can't show it well would he be better as a centre <laughs> okay I think he's just good with playing anywhere on the pitch or well, anywhere I mean he's more defensive you know what I mean now Kovacic Matteo Kovacic now his that <sighs> again his stats are more like, uh, just, I could, could you play, no, like I keep saying we have way too many cans. Okay, just, when a lot of the players come back, I'll, uh, this dude, Dujon Sterling. I like what I've done so far. So, yeah. What? Okay. Big day and come win. And yes, we can. Ziek and Berna both scoring. Actually, Berna has actually got like two yellow cards. Oh, no. I was just like, oh, uh, Milan were playing Milan. Huh, which Milan won? Oh, look, Milan won. Ooh, which Milan won? Sorry. Oh, I don't really care at this point. He's so old, but I can't really make any money out of him. Right, this would be an absolutely massive signing, like a hundred, uh, a hundred million euros. Neymar was two hundred million euros. Uh, like for this dude, that's half the price of Neymar. <laughs> that's a lot. So I, I like the look of this dude and maybe many more. Uh, I feel like Grealish would be a massive signing, but a good one, because he can play <laughs> gab, but he, he can play left wing and left mid, and that's one position where I don't think we have any players who originally play left wing other than, what's he called? Uh, what's he called? I know. <laughs> that much so that is less than double his base value and I'm happy with okay but the lowest I, I, I wish you could do it like value that has a value one where you could just see it's kind of like that where you do age and then you, you just check their overall mm. We'll see for a couple more days. Then I'll see.
I think more fullbacks might have came up. Yes, one has. So he's 24. He's the youngest one on here. He's worth about 50 million. He's he's the same rating as the dude who's 24 but three years older. So he would be like considered in his prime. I want to get one signing done this episode before I end it because I'm gonna end it in like a second. So. Um, Oh, like, I will negotiate to actually buy him, and then I will, uh, then I'll end it there, so I won't actually properly buy him, so 50 million for Lucas Hernandez. No, you're not having Kovacic. You can have... 60 million, 62.9 I guess. There. It's a big price, but for a big player. But, bye guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know my videos are sometimes longer than this, but of course they are sometimes shorter than this, so yeah. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and bye!